celebrates with us. So welcome, welcome, welcome to the How to Increase Your Impact and Income Masterclass. I am so excited to be doing this masterclass and these masterclass series. I really like going deeper into different aspects of them on different ones. I'm an intuitive goddess. I love to just tune into the energy of the people who are watching live and on the replay to really deeply tune into what's coming up right now and like the layer that we can clear release and let go of for you so even though they all have the same title where they're like how to increase your impact and income they have different energies i'll keep tuning into different downloads different limiting belief systems different blocks that people have so i definitely recommend if you are feeling called to doing this work watching a couple of the master classes and then if you're feeling extra extra called to diving into this work then i'm going to share an offer at the end of the six-week course that you can learn more about which i'm super excited to be doing again we started this like vibe in 2020 and it was like right when i was surpassing six figures in my business and the world was doing its thing everyone knows what 2020 was um and it was just like really amazing to see the light workers expand so quickly by doing the really deep unconscious healing work that they maybe didn't know that was a gap that was holding them back or like they did know it was a gap that was holding them back and they were like having resistance to that work and i tend to be a really like easeful pleasurable joyful loving supporting pathway to heal release and let go of stuff so um that's the vibe that we're going to be in today so we're going to focus really deeply on the unconscious limiting beliefs that hold coaches healers light workers entrepreneurs heart-centered service providers back from being who they're meant to be in the world from serving their mission to their fullest receiving the income the profitability the cash flow that they're desiring really supporting them to clearly release and let go of the unconscious belief systems we're going to focus on visibility and throat chakra blocks and other body blocks because sometimes that pops up too for people but it tends to be like oh i don't want to like speak my truth or like it's super vulnerable so we'll go deeper into that today uh we'll go into some money mindset belief systems around scarcity versus abundance around what you can receive or not um also going a little bit deep into the masculine and feminine energies and how we can like harmonize those together supporting you in getting next level boundaries as well because that's a super important part of the process and then also I see a big gap is that healers coaches mentors practitioners aren't doing the conscious 3d work that they know that they quote should be doing and they're not doing it in inspired action so we'll talk about that as well and we're going to do some healing downloads which i'm super excited for so if you are unfamiliar with me i am laura mcphee i am a speaker healer and coach i love 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 using theta healing to clear release and let go of those unconscious belief systems that aren't supporting you that are holding you back in any way shape or form in your life and your business because we're holistic beings and it tends to be if it's in one area it's being mirrored or reflected in another part of your life as well so i also love using reiki to clear release and let go of the body blocks so we'll be doing some of those tools today um i'm also an erotic blueprint coach so i love to like infuse it with pleasure with being lit up in your body and being nourished and serving the world from your lit up energy your turn on your overflow what else am i i'm clear cognizant so sometimes when people ask questions i'll just like write stuff down because i'm just like getting intuitive guidance for them i'm an empath so i really deeply feel what other people are feeling and i'm able to be like oh yeah it's like that part of your body let's clear that out of there um, i'm a reflector in human design so if you're unfamiliar with that there's four types in human design i am the one type that is only one percent that chooses to incarnate on the planet who is all of my centers completely open so the other 99 percent, those other three types have some kind of like I don't love using the word block, but like if you look at your human design chart, it literally has that area filled in. So when you're in a presence of a reflector, I get to allow you to be open to experience what it's like for all of those channels, all of those areas to flow. I also get to amplify you really brightly and amazing, which is why I love working with light workers because I can help them shine their lights 
even more brightly in the world and amplify their success and their impact and their income, which is why we're doing this work. Um, and then I'm also really great at like picking up that like little piece. If you're like, I don't know where my shit is. Like, it's awesome that I work with practitioners, <laughs> practitioners. Cause it's like, yeah, like when your client sits in front of you, you can be like, yeah, your shit's here. Like you're in your shit when you're in your shit, but then someone else looking at you, it's like, oh yeah, it's these things. And I'm super extraordinary at tuning into the exact pieces that are holding you back the exact roots of the problem that have been like the core of the thing that you're like, oh, I don't know what the fuck is wrong. Or like, I know what the fuck's wrong, but I have such resistance to healing it and I don't want to do the thing or I'm procrastinating or avoiding it or get super anxious about doing the thing. So I love using all of my modalities, all of me to support all of my amazing humans in being their next level selves. So that's a little bit about me. I am feeling called to do a little bit of a practice just to ground everyone, get them into their bodies. You guys can be even more open and receptive to the healing work that we're going to be doing. So I invite you to close your eyes. Ah, put your feet flat on the floor and take some deep breaths. And you can visualize that with every breath, you're pulling up bright white light, iridescent light in a column through the core of Mother Earth, up through your feet, your legs, going up through your spine, your chakras. And all the way out through the top of your head, and allowing it to like spurt out the top of your head and like sprinkle all the way down your body. And it's summertime, it's just like a beautiful sprinkle that feels refreshing and rejuvenating and good, filled with love. Mm, keep breathing into that energy, allowing it to cycle through your body, up out the top of your head, and then overflow down onto you in every direction. Mm, and let yourself feel yourself being filled up. Allow yourself to breathe into the pleasure of overflow of love going through every cell of your being, filling you up completely. And in this space, I invite you to set an intention for this call. And if it supports you to write that down, you can write it down in your notes. You can also feel free to type it into the chat or if you're watching on Facebook, live or on the replay, you can put it in the comment section below. And if you're the kind of person that's just like, I have it, I can see it in my mind's eye, I'm so clear on my intention, you don't have to write it down or anything. Just if that feels most supportive for you. And then once you're clear on your intention, I invite you to put your hand on your heart and begin to visualize this intention as complete. So for example, if you had the intention of receiving 
another thousand dollars in your business this month, like more than you have any other month that it gets to be a new high of a thousand dollars more. Visualize yourself celebrating that goal being fully achieved. If your intention was to have your first 3K month, your first 5K month, your first 10K month, your first 100K month, wherever you're at on your journey, just really feel into it being complete, that it has been done, it has been fully achieved. Mm. You can let all the emotions flow through that. Our mind does not know the difference between a memory or a visualization. So let yourself feel all the emotions that come with that too. Give yourself permission to feel it fully and deeply. Mm. And notice what life is like with this intention being completed. How's your environment feel? And how do you feel? How does your next level self feel? And while you're in this energy connected to you being your next level self, having fully achieved this intention, I invite you to ask any questions that you desire to, to your next level self. And that could be like, how did you get there? What does it feel like? Is this person still around? Whatever you're feeling called to ask. And I give you total permission to ask a bunch of questions, to ask your like deep dark one that you're like, mm, can I really ask them that too? <laughs> you have permission to ask yourself literally anything. And it could even be like, what's it important for me to know now to become you? So just keep tuning in, asking your unique questions. And then as you close out this connection, I invite you to express some gratitude and appreciation for all that you just received and learned, the insights you just got. And also trusting and knowing that you'll get even more downloads, even more insights, even more support over the next 24 hours. So that can come in a dream. It can come in a visualization and a meditation you, you do later. Like there can be a bunch of different ways that it comes through. It could be like, oh, I like open a book to the right page and this is my next step. So just trusting that now that you've opened yourself up to receiving this intention, it can come in a variety of ways. Just honor 
Mm. The wisdom you receive, the connection. Mm. You can also anchor this experience into your body and to your heart or your root or anywhere you're feeling called. Mm. You put your hand there and anchor this feeling. Anchor this new awareness and consciousness into your body. Breathe into it. Allow your cells to normalize at this frequency of connection, of being an overflow of unconditional love. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Hmm, bring yourself back into the space. If you want to share in the chat, a body reveal. So how is your body feeling right now? I definitely feel like more energy moving, a lot more warmth in my hands. Hmm. Awesome. I love the intention of financial abundance. So good. <laughs> so 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 good mm. Mm. how are your guys' bodies feeling I'm going to encourage you to be engaged in this because the more you're all in on yourself and receiving this the more the universe will match you so if you're kind of like lean back and like oh yeah I'm just like oh we're doing this thing and hopefully my business will get better like I don't quite believe the quote, how we do everything is how we do anything is how we do everything. I feel like it's most of the way. So it's important to keep that in mind, but I definitely believe that the universe matches you where you're at. So if you're like, yeah, I'm kind of just taking a nice stroll along my journey, hoping that my business makes me money. Cool. The universe will meet you there. That's the energy that you're at. If you're like, I'm ready to run, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to expand, I'm ready to heal. If you're like fucking super secret energy, the universe will meet you there. So I invite you to be engaged in the chat in this, engaged with like writing your pieces down on your notes for anything that you don't feel called to share publicly because it's all within consent. You don't have to share things that you're not feeling comfortable with. But I definitely recommend being fully present here so you can receive all that you desire. And if you're just like at the stage of your business where you're like, I've burnt out before and I just need to like be here at like 50%, you can be here at 50%. So honoring where you're at and encouraging you and inviting you to start beginning to step up into that next level self. Okay, so, hmm, where does it feel good to go next? So a big gap that I see in coaches, healers, mentors, entrepreneurs that holds them back from their next level of receiving their money goals their clients that they like know that they're meant to have like a full roster of clients. They're like, I'm not having anyone. I'm hearing crickets. They're like, I'm only 50% capacity. A big thing that I see is their unconscious belief system. So it actually feels good for this group to go over muscle testing for the theta healing modality. So if you're brand new to theta healing, a really awesome tool that you can have is muscle testing. So I love to use my fingers. You can also use your body, but what you do is find your yes and your no, and then you can say things and connect into what your unconscious belief system in that moment is feeling what it's thinking. Cause you can consciously know something and that's only like five to 10% of your brain, depending on who you ask. It's five to 10% that's conscious, 95 to 90% unconscious. So it's great to know what exactly is going on in the unconscious and clearing out the things, the programs, the stories that aren't of service to us, that we don't want, that haven't made us living in a thriving, financially free, super secure life. So it works because when we're saying something false, when we're quote lying, then our muscles get a little bit weaker. So it allows the muscle test to break. So when it's a yes, it stays strong. A yes is a strong and a no break. So I'm going to use my other two fingers, like little pliers. So if I say, my name is Laura and I pull, so I'm like pulling and it stayed strong. So my name is Laura. So you can muscle test that. And then you can muscle test a name that is not yours. My name is Jack. 
and it broke. And there's other ways to muscle test as well. You can also do it standing. You can do it with someone else with your arm. There's a bunch of ways. You can Google that or YouTube that later. But I really love the finger way. So one of the big belief systems that also ties into like the money piece is your capacity to receive, your capacity to hold money. So you can muscle test, for example, it's safe to hold X amount of money. If you want your bank account, to have $5,000 consistently in it, or your savings account to be at $50,000 or 100K or 250K, whatever you're desiring to like be in your bank or be in investments, you can muscle test. So we can start with whatever fill in the blank number it is for you. If you're like, oh yeah, like I'm kind of just running my cash flow in and then it goes out and I'm not really creating savings, you could muscle test. It's safe for me to have a savings account of $10,000. So I can say it's safe for me to have a savings account of $10,000 and it's yes, because I can hold it. It's a yes for me. My unconscious believes that and I've done that and it's normal. So you can play with different numbers there. You can do $500, $500,000, anything that's coming to mind. And you can kind of play with that. And then you can be like higher or lower. Like if you're like, ooh, I really don't know exactly where it is. Or you can play with a range. If you're like, oh yeah, sometimes I can have the account be this high, but then it will drop this low. And there's this like up, down, roller coaster vibe with your money. Then you can kind of tune into like, where exactly are these gaps in my unconscious belief system? Where are my issues here? Does that make sense to everyone? And if you're not on camera and you do desire to be on camera, then you can do like thumbs up and I can like see you more and engage with you more. But if you're like sick or your Wi-Fi connection is not great, you can also stay off camera. I'll also tune into our Facebook humans, making sure there aren't any big questions about the muscle testing piece. My webcam stopped working yesterday. Oh no, that's fine. I can still feel into everyone's energy. So we're good with that. We'll turn that down. Okay, cool. No questions. Awesome. Yay, beautiful faces. <laughs> um, so you can also muscle test and we're gonna like muscle test some things and then I'm gonna do some healing downloads on it. So we'll kind of play with like, ooh, let's figure out where our issues are and then we'll clear release and let go of it. So you can muscle test, I am my family's savior or I am the world savior. Like that's really heavy energy. That's like, ooh, I have to be a savior. You can muscle test, I need to sacrifice for my business to be successful. And I'm totally tuning into the energy to get other stuff that's attached to things. You can also see what kind of cap you have on the amount of money or pleasure or joy or ease or time off you can have in your business. If you're like, ooh, there's like an issue here somewhere. It could be you're just like, your comfort zone isn't there yet. Or it's like, okay, I'm at here. Here's my comfort zone. And I don't think I can have the level of success or money that I'm wanting to and have weekends off and have three day weekends and have four day weekends, like whatever you're desiring. But what we're doing is we're like, okay, where are the like actual edges here? And then that's clear release and let go of the shit that you don't want anymore and allow yourself to expand and hold it. So it's normal in the expansion process that there's a little bit of contraction, a little bit of wobble, but we don't want to like go worse than we were before, like a really high high to a new low to a new high to a new low, like fuck the roller coaster bed. So what we get to do by healing the unconscious and knowing like, okay, well, where are my limits now? Where are my edges? We get to know, okay, well, where's the next level? So getting you to your next level, allowing that to normalize and integrate so you can hold it here and then expand again 
and integrate it and hold it and expand again and integrate and hold it instead of going like new high, new low. No fucking fun. So in last week's call, we did kind of like the cap on money and like income. It feels like we can go a little bit deeper into like wealth and like how much we can hold and like cash flow and profitability here. So I'll definitely be doing downloads on that. And there's also a little bit more of a vibe of like the time freedom being equal with the financial freedom, like not giving up time with family, loved ones, our passion projects, just to make our businesses be better. So, hmm. do you want a muscle test? I can have the best of both worlds with my business and my family. And it's not bad if your unconscious believes that. It's not like, ooh, yay, or oh, fuck. Like, it's just, ooh, some awareness of like, this is where my unconscious is right now. And we're going to do some clearings to help you release the stuff that's not supportive for you. So do you want to clear, release, and let go through your higher power? And I'm going to use higher power. You can replace in your brain. God, creator, source energy, the universe, whatever you're desiring. Would you like to know what it looks like and feels like through your higher power to clear, release, and let go of all this junk, the negative energies, stories, releasing the bonds, oaths, and obligations to struggle, to financial hardship, to this up and down yo-yo energy or roller coaster energy? We can clear release and let go of all of those completely on all levels. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. <sighs> and you want to know that it's time safe and that you're able to, what that looks like and feels like through your higher power. Do you want to clear, release, and let go of any and all identities of being a savior, world savior, family savior, martyr, someone who needs to sacrifice? And also clear, release, and let go of your identities to being a people pleaser above all else or a perfectionist. If you want to just like clear, release, and let go of all of those old identities that aren't serving you any longer and replace it with your higher power is true, you can say yes. Do you wanna know what it looks like and feels like to hold more money safely? So if you had muscle tested a certain number as like, okay, you can hold this amount of money in your bank account, what would it be like to add another 2,000, 5,000? 100,000 to that number. So do you want to know what it looks like and feels like that it's possible time and they are able to hold more money, to be a wealthy human, that you can be a healthy, authentic, safe steward of money and wealth in this world. And if you like that, you can say yes. Do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to have a profitable business, to be profitable, to have a business that has more cash inflow than cash outflow consistently month to month, that you know what it looks like and feels like to structure that business, to create it, to co-create it with others, that you know that it's possible, time, that you're worthy and deserving of it, that it's safe and that it won't hurt you or anyone else, that it won't burn you out, it won't drain you or exhaust you or make you tired or take something from you, that you can be profitable without paying for it physically, energetically, or emotionally, or mentally. And if you'd like that through your higher power, you can say yes. Do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to have the best of both worlds, to have your cake and eat it too, and to have success without waiting for the other shoe to drop, without being anxious that something bad will happen, and without the fear that you'll become 
a target that you'll be persecuted, that you'll be hurt or harmed for your success in the world. Do you want to clear those? Awesome, that's feeling a lot, lot lighter for people. Okay, so if you want to go back and test some of those, do you want to test a higher money, amount of money in your bank account? So I'm also testing, it is safe for me to hold double the amount of money in my savings. And you can play with the words here. And you want a muscle test that I can have the best of both worlds. And you want a muscle test. It's safe for me to have a profitable business. And if you wrote any others down that you're like, ooh, I was a no to that, and I want to be a yes to that before, you can also muscle test those as well. I'd love to hear in the chat, are some yeses coming through? Are things getting better? Are you having anything that's like, oh, fuck, like this is still like really sticky? I have like more junk around here. Let me know where you're at. I'll keep tuning in to the Facebook people too. And even if you're on the replay of Facebook or on the email list, that's going to get the replay of this. If you have any questions, you're like, oh, fuck, like this is still holding me back. I'm going to be doing in a couple of weeks, a like hot seat edition of this, where we go really deep into like people's stuff where you like get to raise your hand to get some one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, which I'm super excited for. <laughs> so are things getting better? Anything sticky or stuck still? Okay, and then we'll move on to some visibility and throat chakra blocks. Really good. Thanks, you're so welcome. Awesome. All right, so it's fun because it's like I have my notes and then I have people's energy. So I'm going to marry them all in together, blend them all in. Getting better. It's safe to expand my business. It's one that's sticky. Mm. Cool. So let's get rid of this. Do you want to clear, release, and let go of the fears, worries, self doubt, and stories that you've heard from other people, other mentors, even like teachers and like the collective, like other peers too, that expanding your business is going to create a hardship for you or someone in your family that is going to like take away from your well-being, their well-being, that you could be targeted, that it could be unsafe, that you could get a stalker, that you'll become like targeted or prosecuted in some way. Do you want to clear those? Do you want to cut the cords to all those stories, all those limiting belief systems? We can also Oh, release you from any and all vows, contracts, oaths, and obligations, releasing all of that on all levels, resolving it on a history level, clearing out past life attachments and fears that have been kind of like sticking and coming through, like seeping through almost in like a bad, gross way. But we can clear out all of that old junk. <sighs> Do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to be in this timeline, in this dimension, in this present moment, that we can 
release you from any and all other like unhealthy pulled energetics where like you're in too many timelines at once that you can instead be in your divine timeline on this earth as a present human being now that you can be in this moment and release any and all attachments and like any energy sucks like energy drains that you're getting from being like pulled in too many directions do you want to clear that And you want to see through your higher powers, truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that it is safe to expand your business, that you know how, that you're worthy and deserving of it, and that you are able to move in your unique inspired action steps to grow it, evolve it, expand it, and yourself in healthy, safe ways that allow you and others to thrive for your optimal health and vitality at your various energy levels as well, that you can calibrate higher that you can allow yourself to hold more and that you can honor your body on a day-to-day -day basis Would you like that so in candace do you want to muscle test it's safe to expand my business do you have a yes for that now yay <laughs> so exciting so see how awesome that is it's like oh yeah we just had like a gap in our limiting belief system and then once we get it from root literally everything all the like mess of the fucking cords and all the roots and all the other shit that was attached to it all get to just disintegrate it's just like when we find the root we clear it out which is so fun <laughs> and then people get to quantum leap and it makes me so excited awesome okay so hmm. visibility piece so it's fun tuning in to this energy versus last week. So last week we kind of did some throat chakra blocks. We talked about how hmm, sometimes we can like grow a little bit too far outside of our comfort zone or to like our edges. And I'm even getting here like outside of people's like windows of tolerance where sometimes we can be like, oh, I talked about my trauma before I was really like ready and safe and stable and good about talking about it publicly or to a specific person or like, on a show that I did once or and then it like completely caused all this like contraction where you're like oh my god that like was not good I'm gonna like hide in my hermit shell for the rest of my life and never ever try to do that again so it can be like extreme examples of that and it can just be like oh I like shared something and no one liked it and my like hurt little girl from when I was five to 15 was like, no one likes me. No one's engaging on this. Like there's something wrong or bad with me. You're like, no one's coming to my party. No one wants to come to my events. No one's coming to my courses. Like there can be that piece too, where we can sometimes have launch trauma. So launch trauma is coming up is like the visibility piece. That's like a bigger one here um, where we do something and then it isn't quite how we wanted it to go. And then it just creates a story in our nervous system that it's not safe, that it's not good, that we shouldn't try it again. So even if we like know, okay, it's like good for me to post to grow my business. It's good for me to make calls to action, for me to do master classes, for me to do courses, for me to like put myself out there in the world on interview shows and summits and all these things. But like, I'm so terrified of being rejected or feeling that like hurt hard again, that they don't do it or it sucks as well to get judgment from others and haters and like, feeling rejected from our family or our friends for doing something so different in the world than what we had been doing so we'll definitely do downloads on it but it feels like the body piece is kind of like the bigger one to focus on first here so i'll invite you to just take some deep breaths close your eyes and we're going to start out by scanning your body from the top of your head, moving down and just noticing where there's like blocks in your body that are preventing you from being visible, from feeling safe and being visible. And we're not judging them. We're just like bringing awareness to them. It's like, oh, okay, you live here. Interesting. And then moving to the next one.
focus on that biggest block, that most prominent block that was like really standing out to you when you did the scan, focus on that. We're gonna release that energy. So tune into the energy that's no longer serving you and notice what color it is. If you could touch this old energy, what kind of temperature does it have? What kind of texture does it have? What emotion is living there? What body sensation is happening? So we're gonna safely move that old, old, old energy outside of your body through your higher power. Filling out that space where it used to live with unconditional love. And if you like that, you can say yes. Just breathe as that space is being filled up. That feels like a really big one for a couple people. <sighs> so now that that old energy is safely outside of your body, without any connection to you, we're going to ask it a question and just allow the first thought, first feeling to come through. What were you trying to teach me? And you want to know what it looks like and feels like through your higher powers, truth, wisdom, perspective, and understanding to have this lesson and the similar frequency lessons that it's attached to marked as complete knowing that it's time, that it's safe on all levels, and that you can choose to learn your lessons through ease, speed, grace, joy, and love in the future. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. And that's a conscious piece that's also coming through. So if you want to write down on your sheet of paper, I choose to learn my lessons with ease, speed, grace, joy, and love. Then you can like put it on a post-it note. I started in like 2015 to like every single morning when I had a shower, every morning I like attached it. So for habit setting, it's great to like do something new, attach it to something you were already doing. So every day, even back when I was in the corporate world, I just got in the shower every morning and I always said, I set my intention to learn my lessons with ease, speed, grace, joy, and love. So if you want to do the, I set my intention, you can do it that way. For some people, it feels like choosing and like deciding is a more powerful thing for them right now. So whatever verbiage is most resonant with you, you get to choose. And you want to forgive yourself completely in all levels and know what it looks like and feels like to forgive anyone else who was an actor on your stage while you were learning this or other similar frequency lessons the hard way through struggle, through sacrifice, through strife and famine I'm also getting. So like the past life shit around this too, that we can just clear release and let go of all that. Oh, and taking some deep breaths as that integrates in, even like stretching out, letting your body move that energy. Shaking it out if you need to. Ah, adding some sound or power to your breath, whatever feels supportive for really clearing that out. 
And then we can get your higher power to safely transmute that old, old energy into unconditional love, sending it out into the ethers and filling you up with like unconditional love, bright white light energy, infinite healing energy in every cell of your being, just allowing yourself to be filled up in the space where it used to live and in every cell of your body. And do you want to know what it looks like and feels like through your higher power to open your silver receptors to learning your lessons through ease, speed, grace, joy, and love, to learning through pleasure and joy and bliss, through excitement and curiosity and adventure and expansion. And if you'd like to normalize that within yourselves and know that it's safe to replace these positives, sorry, to replace the old ways that you were like learning and listening for your cues before, which was like struggle or hardship or sacrifice or tiredness or exhaustion, or like a new low to force you to be motivated to learn a new thing that you can instead choose to really deeply embody and embed within yourselves these positive ways of invitation and motivation of learning your lessons going forward and if you'd like that through your higher power you can say yes and take some deep breaths allow that to integrate in and tune into that place in your body where that was that prominent energy for some of you it was throat chakra energy others it was just like different like woo like this area wanted to get support so wherever it was for you, tuning back into that. And then I'd love to hear in the chat, how is that feeling now? And even the Facebook comments, because I'll be checking those later too. Hmm. Sometimes it's lighter. Yeah, lighter, awesome. <laughs> We're already tuned into people's energy, but it is nice to like <laughs> have the back and forth too. That was really good and deep. Mm, beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Mm. And sometimes it brings up a new layer. So how we have onions and there's different layers. It's like, oh, this layer's gone. That feels lighter. And now I'm super aware of this thing. Or now that this whole block's gone and it's not screaming at me, I'm aware of like, oh, there's some stuff over here that's happening. So it feels like there's some energy of like weight of the world on people's shoulders. So do you want to just like clear release and let go of any obligations, contracts, soul contracts, and curses of you needing to have the weight of the world on your shoulders, of you needing to have the burden, the pressure, the weight, responsibility, and self-deprecation, self-sabotage of that. And if you'd like to clear that completely in all levels, you can say yes. <laughs> awesome. That was me, the weight on my shoulders. I love that. It's so fun to like play with people's energy. Okay. So that's feeling a lot lighter, a lot better. Beautiful. Okay. So the next piece that's like on the agenda is the money mindset, healing that, releasing anything that's not supportive. So we kind of tuned into that a little bit with um, like identity of wealth and holding more money, holding more savings, that kind of vibe. Last week we did um, glass ceilings. So if you're like, ooh, I totally have a glass ceiling or a cap, you can go back to that week and literally like muscle test and be like, oh, okay, like where's my glass ceiling? Especially women, it fucking sucks that that still exists. But unfortunately, there's highly likely an awareness in your brain where it's like, oh, the maximum month I've ever had is this, that you've never been able to get above a certain amount. So there's likely glass ceiling there. So if you want to go back to last week's masterclass, we can clear that out. What it feels more fun to do here is kind of like inviting you to expand your human mind's capacity to have bigger rates, to have bigger packages, to go into some of that stuff, 
to support you in bringing in the money. Cause I love all the unconscious stuff. I love doing the healing downloads and I love the conscious piece because yeah, we are also conscious beings and the five to 10% is a fairly big portion of our day too. So what I really recommend people doing, and this is actually a great time for me to share my screen here. I want to make sure I have that opened to the right page. Okay. Yes. I'm going to share my Excel document as a one year plan template. So, do you want to give me like a thumbs up? Can you see my Excel now or let me know in the chat? Cool. Awesome. Yay. I'm going to just close the chat while I do this so I can see all the things. So, it's really awesome to reverse engineer, to be like, okay, if I desire to have 50K, 75K, 100K, whatever goal you have, 500K, whatever goal you're at, it's great to reverse engineer it so that you know in your human parts, okay, this is possible. We have a plan to do this. And then you can do from your energetic soul self, this or better, thank you, universe. This is the general plan. And I'm open to it being even better, even more easeful, more various income streams coming through. I'm open to a ton of abundance. So I like doing this, so that it's grounded because sometimes people are like, I don't know how to make my business have more money. And like, they just are in, unfortunately, putting out fire mode in their business where they're just like, I need to just like make enough money to pay the bills this month. So I'm just like, go to do a thing to like pay the bills this month. And then you're always kind of in like catch up mode of like, I'm not really planning short or long term. And I have so been there. So I feel you. I'm sending love to all of your human parts that are just like, yeah, but like, how do I get out of survival? And like, just making all the ends meet to the more abundant life where cash flow comes in and it's smart. So it's a transition phase. And you can totally say to the universe, hey, I understand I'm in a tra transition right now. And I'm energetically unavailable to be in transition. I will officially be my next level self by summer, by fall, by 2023, whatever your goal is. And then move from where you have been to where you are going in a sustainable way. So this is a like great example of how you can like structure. So if you want to, and I'm like, what is this plan for? Cool. So let's play with different numbers. I have a couple I screen share things down at the bottom. Okay. So there's private. Yeah, this feels like a more fun one to play with with this group. Okay. So if you want to start, if you're like newer in your business and are starting to go from one-off sessions to packages, you can be like, okay, cool. I'll sell three for $3,000 and get about 9K. And then when you're good at selling those three for the $3,000, then you can increase your price to 5K sell six at that rate, then increase your rate to about 10K, sell six at that rate. Like you get to stair step your rates and you don't immediately have to like jump to the next level and everything's possible and you can jump to the next level. And I've quantum leaped and other people I know have quantum leaped, my clients have quantum leaped and you get to like follow your unique inspired action steps. So not doing the like cookie cutter, oh, everyone has to do ABC. This is like the one and only way to like be a healer or practitioner in this world. You get to tune into what your unique soul has on your ideal optimal timeline. So you could literally with just 17 private clients a year, get to receive 100K. So you'd only have to know 17 private clients. You wouldn't have to like super go out crazy and have like a hundred clients and like burn yourself fucking out trying to serve them. It could literally be as simple as 17 souls finding you within the next 365 days, which means that the clients to enroll per month would be about two. And you can also do launch phases. So I really like doing launch phases. I also love traveling. So I don't have a launch going usually when I'm traveling. I'm like moving into having an OBM and having like things being taken care of where I can travel and things being taken care of in my business. But 
what I have typically done and what I did earlier in my entrepreneurial journey was have a space where I would be launching. So I would enroll five or 10 clients and then I would take some time off. So I wouldn't be in a launch when I was in client service. So does that make sense? Does that feel more doable where it's like, okay, if I was going to do basically launch all year long, like always taking on clients, it'd be about one to two clients a month to get your first six figures. And you can play with these numbers. So I might even, I'm totally going to make a note to send this Excel out with the masterclass. Um, Cause you can play with these numbers and I want you to like have the energy of like, oh, cool. I get to play with it. So like, literally this is what you can do with Excel. You can create a whole new template and then you can be like, okay, well, if I know I don't ever want to have a 10K package, what if my five session pack was $500 and my 10 session pack was a thousand dollars. And I take like two super high end clients for me and that's 5,000 because they're getting like VIP days or a retreat or something with you. And then a down sell that's like $300. And a down sell is like a digital program or you could be like, okay, if you aren't a fit for my other stuff, we could do a one-off session for $300. So if you're, let's do quick math. If you're gonna do like a five session pack for 500, we've got a hundred each. So you can do a down sell for a hundred, just one one-off session. Yeah. And then you can play with the numbers in here. So if you're like, okay, if I only want to have two super VIP clients, that'd be $10,000 I'd make during the year. It's like, okay, so I'm totally, yeah. I'm like, I'm totally getting the inspiration to be like, what if you just enrolled one client a month? So you're not like, Ugh, I have to like sell and be really great at all my sales calls. Like, let's make it super, super simple. So, especially if you're like transitioning. So I know that we have some people who are listening who are like, I'm having a nine to five job, but I totally want to start building my business. So would you like to have another basically $17,000 by taking 12 one-on-one -on -one clients in a year? How would that feel? <laughs> um, so you can play with these numbers to be like, okay, intuitively, and just also branded human number wise, that's what it is. Unfortunately, I see a lot of practitioners just being like, I just need to sell my one-off sessions for $75 or 222 or 333 and like just make the bills this month. And then at the end of the year, they're like, ah, oh, I still didn't make six figures. I still didn't make 65K, whatever dollar amount they were going for because they were just in go, go, go mode all the time. They were just doing and they weren't like leaning back to bring in their intuition and to actually do the grounded human conscious 3D work. So the other thing that I love about this is that you can see Okay, here you have 12 private clients and make $16,700 in the year. Here, if you do a workshop and have 45 people come to your workshop in the year, that only makes you $1,450. Does that make sense? Where it's like, oh, wow, that takes a ton more effort because you have to do lead generation and talk to a ton more people than 45, because it's super unlikely that every single person that you talk to is going to be a hell yes to doing a workshop. And that's how I was burning myself out in my first year of my business. Because I was going back and forth between two cities. I was going back and forth between St. John and Moncton. And I was doing in-person workshops and I was selling one-off sessions. And that was not sustainable. <laughs> that took a ton of time and energy all the fucking time. And it was exhausting. And I was not profitable in my business. And they knew, okay, yeah, the first year business, it's like ridiculous if you break even, let alone have any kind of profitability. So I like, as an ex-accountant, so I also went <laughs> to university, was an accountant in the corporate world. I have the numbers background. So looking at this, I was like, oh my God, this is why it's running me fucking crazy. Cause I need to fucking find 45 clients to make not even $2,000. But here, all I need to do is enroll 12 clients to make 16,700. So then it's fun to have these different pieces kind of like working together. So 
you could have group programs that are at different offerings. And if you have four, six, five, 10 people in them, you can make more money than you can running these workshops. So if you have a $20 workshop, 20 people join and like nowadays things are starting to open up more, but people still aren't really like super gung ho about like being in person for things. So it's like even getting them to do online workshops and stuff, like it's a thing. So if you get 20 people, that's pretty awesome. It's essentially what was coming through for that. And that's only $400 for you. And then if you have a fee of a space that you were in or something like that, then that eats into it, which I was also doing all my stuff in person back in the day. So it was not profitable or sustainable. So what can be great is a strategy that I'm doing right now where you do a free event. So instead of doing a workshop for $20 and having that be like resistance to entry, so I'm being like, oh, I don't know if I like know Laura yet. I don't know her vibe. I don't know the thing. I don't know if I want to like pay the $20. It's great to have something free and then invite them to the next thing and then invite them to the next thing. And I tend to be the type of client that's like, oh yeah, I do your free thing. I fucking love it. I like read your book or do a webinar. And then I want your next thing and your next thing and your next thing and your next thing and your next thing. And I've been like almost all the Tony Robbins programs and um, I've done almost every single thing that's available in the Roderick Blueprint world now. Like I literally am a seeker and I'm like, yes, give me all the things. So it's great to get a client into your world and then invite them to the next best fit for them. And sometimes the barrier to entry of even getting them in your vibe, in your energy, in your world is $20. And it's like, okay, well, would you be cool if you do the thing for free? And then now a year from now, five years from now, like I've been in business full-time for five years. And I literally enrolled someone last month who has known me for that entire time. And I did not know it was following me, but she's been following me for five years. So like you can plant seeds with people and just allow it to grow and harvest and like nourish your audience by putting out awesome free content on your social medias, on whatever social medias you're using. And especially if you're newer, I do recommend focusing your energy on one maximum two. If you'd like really have the extra energy and you're super excited to do both, one maximum two platform. So you're not just like stretching yourself way too fucking thin, which was an energy I was feeling into earlier where it's like getting pulled in a bunch of directions. The more focused you can be, especially as you're like growing one income stream, the more you can have all of your human parts going in one direction and your energetics go the same way, the stronger you are at magnetizing those things in, the better you are at manifesting what you're desiring instead of being like, well, I want a bunch of followers on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and all that. Like that's a lot of different energy and a lot of stuff. If you have the energy, if you're overflowing, if you're like, I fucking loved every single one of them and I couldn't imagine not engaging with these people on these things, awesome. You can totally do that if it's like, this lights me up. What tends to happen, what I tend to see is that people try to do too much early on. They're trying to do the strategy of the fucking multimillionaire that they see who has four full-time employees doing their social media content and their marketing strategy and all the things. Like, I really invite you to like scale back to be exactly where you're at and move in your unique divine inspired action steps. So you're going in your flow, you're going in your harmony, you're moving in the way that works best for your system. So um, just to like complete the energy of this, I know that we were showing some examples. So let's play with goal of $60,000. That feels like a fun one to play with right now. So if we had it, so you were going to be like moving into full time. So pretend that the one that we were doing was like, oh, we're transition mode. So if you are like, I'm at the space where I'm ready to do my business full time and have it be awesome, then we could play with, let's make your one-off session and you only do one one-off session with people, two, two, two. And then you'd invite them to like a uh, actual program. So it could be a group program, a group course that you do or with you privately. So if you make... And this is like my, like, this is my 2018 self where um, I was like, I'm unavailable to have someone privately in my world where I would offer extra support between our calls, WhatsApp support. That's the one that I use. Um, there's also email or Voxer or Marco Polo. Like there's a bunch of other platforms that people use. 
I also really recommend only doing one so you're not having to check a million platforms <laughs> for messages. Um, so you could have it that you do, the only way to work with you privately is a thousand dollars or more. This could be two, nine and seven, and this could be four, nine and seven. And like everything auto updates. So I know that sometimes people do not ex understand Excel because I work with a lot of like creatives and light workers and people and they're like, my brain doesn't do that. I love that you're an ex accountant and your brain does that. So you just get to play with the numbers in here. Like once you know what your actual rates are, then you can be like, okay, well, how many clients would that be? So that you have a strategy that works for you and gets to the goal at the bottom. So right now that's negative 21,000. So there's a difference between the goal that we want and what the numbers are now. So it's like, okay, what if I had eight clients at that and four there? Cool. And we have above our goal. So let's do three. Cool. So if you're like, okay, this would be what I would be willing to hold during the year for my private. That gives you about 50K in private. Then if you're like, okay, so someone who can't work with me at my minimum $1,000, then I could invite them to different groups and have different groups available throughout the year. And then you can play with like, okay, well, how many people? Do you want to start your first group at 197 and have five people and your next one have 10? You can play with those numbers and it'll keep updating here. So I know that some people still really love, and now that things are opening up again, people still love to like have the workshop vibe or have like new moon ceremonies or something like that where it is in person. I don't want to deter you from that. If your heart and soul is like, oh, I really want to do that. And I like, am going to do it in person and it is my time and energy and I'm totally fine. Like you can do the free stuff online and it doesn't cost you anything. Like this event does not cost me like 60 or hundred dollars that event <laughs> places typically cost. So I can do as many free online things as I want and it's not costing my business anything, but it is a time investment. So it's also important to have that as a piece within your brain to be like, okay, what am I willing to do with my time and energy knowing that we are human beings and have a limiter on the amount of like hours we're willing to work in our businesses during the day or the week or the month. So does that make sense to everyone that you get about 50K from all of your private during the year, that if you did keep it this exact way with some workshops and stuff, you'd get about $9,000 for your group. And then that would, oh, nine, there. So then that would get you to 60,768 as your annual total, which is above your goal. So your difference is positive. Does that make sense to everyone? If you have any questions, you can totally unmute and ask. Cause I know sometimes I like get really excited about the numbers and they're like, you're assuming that I know something about Excel or accounting or math or numbers that I don't know. <laughs> and I have a question. And usually if one person has a question, the energy of the room is like, like attracts like, so other people have a question too. Okay. But if everyone's good, then we can stop the screen share. And like I said, I am going to send that out. I'm going to like star it really big. So that was a couple of the pieces all at once. So that was definitely our like healthier money mindset, knowing how to like increase our rates, packages, piece, and then also doing the conscious 3D work. So I'll go a little bit out of order, but into the flow of what's actually happening here. Um, the other thing that's coming through as like the conscious 3D work. So I call it that because sometimes, especially the, like the more woo -woo feminine spiritual people who are just like always in that vibe, sometimes the shadow piece of that is that they're like couch potato manifestors and they're hoping that they could just like put the intention out once to the universe and that like their people will come in. <laughs> Where if you do your conscious 3D work that your soul is like calling you to do as a human in your inspired action steps, that that will like propel you forward. And it doesn't have to be a ton of work. So it can literally be taking five, 10, 30 minutes and writing down your ideal, your ideal clients. So I was going to say client, but for some of you, it feels like you have already different segments of your business. So if you're like, right now I'm choosing to focus on private clients, what's your ideal private client? And spending time to get clear on that to the universe. 
doing that one year plan template. And I also have another masterclass. It's a paid masterclass um, called Overflow Your Cash Flow and Pleasure. And in that one, I literally move from the one year reverse engineer it into a month, what your monthly income would need to be to make that work. And then also moving into your hours, like how many hours are you working in a month so that you're not unfortunately building yourself up for burnout because sometimes people get really excited about like, oh, wow, I can have a really big month. I can have my first 10K month. And then they've enrolled so many clients that they're like, oh my God, a month in, six months in. And they're just like, I'm so burnt out. Like I enrolled too many humans. I don't have the amount of hours to do all of what I've committed to. And I've like overcommitted. I said that I was, which kind of goes into our boundaries piece. I'm like, I just said I was just going to be like their coach, their healer in their back pocket and give them unlimited boxer support. I literally will be so happy when unlimited boxer support is something I never hear again, because you don't want to be that in someone else's world. It's also not healthy to become codependently attached to your clients for three months to a year. And then they like lose you after and they're like, I don't know how to work. I've just been like using this person as my person the whole time. So Boundaries are awesome for you and for your clients. So for me, I literally at the beginning had a boundary where they would hear back from me within 24 hours. Now I've grown in my business where we'll hear back from me within one to three business days. So the other really fun thing is that higher end clients are lower maintenance. So people who've invested in themselves or were willing to invest above $1,000 in their personal growth and development they've stabilized themselves. It's super unlikely that they're like, the metaphor I'm getting is like drowning in the water, trying to hold on to you and pull you underneath too. Like how that's really unsafe and toxic and not good. So true. I love that it's resonating. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm like, I love that just all the pieces are blending together for this. We're not really like having sections, but I'm just following your beautiful flow of energy. So The great thing about having these templates and doing this conscious work is that you can support yourself now and in the future. So you're not over selling these packages and then going to be like exhausted, burning yourself out, resenting your clients, wanting to burn down your business when you are in delivery of that. Because I've also seen people who offer weekend retreats, private retreats for clients, virtual VIP days, all these things. And then they're like, oh my God, I have no weekends for the whole next year. I've just like, I understand in my conscious brain that there's 52 weeks in a year, but I was just selling these things. And now I like, don't really have time for vacation or to spend with my family or like time off, but I got money. And I'm not the coach for you if you're just like, I want to make a ton of money and I don't care about the impact on my health and I don't care about how that actually affects the service of my clients. <laughs> like that is not what I'm about. I'm about like the holistic wellness of a win-win-win scenario for you and your client and the world that we're living in, that we all get to be serving from our overflow, being the change we wish to see in the world, receiving financial abundance for the work that we're doing and supporting our clients and thriving as we're thriving. And that that gets to raise the frequency of the planet like beyond human words, which is so fun. So another conscious 3D piece um, is getting clear on like your life vision statement. So that's a fun thing that could be for homework for anyone who's called to it is tuning into that next little version of yourself. What's life look like? What's life feel like? And like, could you run yourself through your ideal day as that version. Hmm, I'm like already getting like chills right for like people like, hmm, what's possible? And the more you're in that frequency, again, how the mind doesn't know the difference between a memory and a visualization, the more you're in that vibration, the more that you're in that frequency. So feeling into that life vision statement, feeling into what your day-to-day -day life is, what life's like at that next level, you can literally write it down. What I love to do is record it in voice notes on my cell phone and then have it on an automatic alarm that goes off every day. So then I hear it, then it's ingrained in me. And then I can just like literally shut my eyes and flow through that energy. And 
since 2015, when like I started getting super into all the personal development and growth work with like one-on-ones, I had been in the personal development world since I was like 18. So it's like more than a decade. But when I got really, really deep and got like super seeker mode, essentially in 2015, I have up-leveled my dream life multiple times doing this work. So I really recommend doing the conscious work and building these habits in and these rituals, the devotional things to yourself into your life so that you can up-level to your next level dream life. Okay. Hmm, that feels so good. Um, so we covered the money piece. We started going into boundaries. So the other thing that I recommend is getting really clear on what you're willing and unwilling to do in your business and not like shrink in a, well, the person messaged me that they were interested on Saturday. And what if they're not interested by the time that money comes around? Like instead of being in scarcity and fear around this, and I'll do a little bit of healing on it, we can actually choose to step into our power and be healthy for ourselves and our clients and model that for them. Because unfortunately, sometimes healers and practitioners have less clear boundaries on their time because they're like, I don't know, I'll take a client on the weekend if they can only take, like find a way to get here on the weekend. Like people find a way to fit into their calendar a thing that works for them. Humans are not only available on weekends, they can do a session with you in the evening. They can get someone to babysit their child if this work is so important for them to do in the world. So if you're like, oh, I would fucking hate to work on the weekend, please do not have availability on your booking calendar on the weekend. Like it does not serve you and support you to be resenting the fuck out of the people who book, even at like a low key level where it's like, well, like I'm excited for the money and like I get excited when the session's done. But just like, do you feel me on that? That having that boundary allows the right ideal clients to book. So you can put something on your ideal client list, like loves booking on Tuesdays and Thursdays, if you're only available on Tuesdays and Thursdays. <laughs> so you can get that. And the more that you play with this and you can play with it in like teeny tiny baby steps. It doesn't mean that like tomorrow you have to like, be like, Hey universe, these are my new standards. And I'm going to like up level my boundaries in every fucking way and have conflict and have drama and have those things. You can do it in bite-sized steps. And be like, oh, okay, what if, and if you've been working in the, oh yeah, all my days are open, book went with me, whatever, can you start to close some of those availabilities off? If you've had every day open, can you take just the weekends off? Could you take just Sunday and just like block it off your calendar now? So you can do it in like incremental shifts that it's supporting your nervous system and you're not like, ah, I don't think I could do that. I'm like, what if everyone freaks out that those times aren't available? You can do them in little baby steps and you can also have clear communication with people like, oh yeah, you can't book a doctor on the weekend. Like you can't go to your like banker's house and be like, Hey, I have a question. And like, you need to be available 24 seven to me. Like no other profession does anyone expect that. But sometimes in the healing world, people are in their savior or their martyr or have that kind of stuff coming up. And then unconsciously attract in people who are like energetic vampires or people who do have emergencies all the time and people who will say this is so fucking important and like will freak out if you're not replying to them. I remember in my first year, there was someone who in the morning learned that I was doing a workshop and then like all throughout the day on, like I was pretty sure it was a Saturday, like all throughout the day, it was like freaking out that like, I was not replying back about these questions that they had. And like, it was weeks away, this workshop. It was not like, oh, the workshop's happening tonight. So that's why they're asking the question. And that just wasn't the right person for me with my boundaries. And it's like, okay, I get to be clear. These are the people who honor and work in this world. These get to me by people. And then you get to bless and release the people who aren't. So does that make sense to everyone that the more you have your boundaries, you get to call in the people who you want to be working with, who you get excited and lit up and have healthy exchanges working with. And then the other ones, they're just not your people. That's totally fine. They are energetic matches to other people. They will find their divine person. You do not have to like bend and contort and hide and like smush yourself and then resent it to serve someone. Awesome. Yes. I love that it's resonating. Okay, so 
I'm totally tracking the time and I'm like, I want to talk about all the things and all the stuff, which is why I'm going to talk about the course very soon where we go deeper into all of these things. But I love that I get to like tune into people's energies and make the different classes different. So we're just flowing in a different way. And I still want to make sure we hit on all the parts. Um, so for boundaries, set your as a like little homework set step would be to set your working hours, like what your ideal working hours is. So like if you're moving from I'm available all the time and I have been set what your ideal working hours are. And I'm getting for some people that's like even three or four days. I have done three and four days a week where I only work three or four days. It is possible. You can do it. But if you're like, oh, that feels like too much of an extreme to go from like all seven days to three. What if you just in stages where you're like, OK, well, for the month of June, I'm going to move it to six days a week and then have feel how that is. And then maybe like two or three weeks and you're like, oh, that's actually pretty good. It's pretty easy. Everyone's basically OK with it. Then take sun, Saturday and Sunday away <laughs> so you can move it like that. Um, so we've talked a lot about inspired action and the money piece. So the last one is harmonizing our masculine and feminine energies. And I was tuning into that a little bit when we were talking about like that go, 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 do, do, do energy. So it's just very interesting that we've all chosen to incarnate into a patriarchy, into a world that values productivity over health and peace and connection and those things. Like we, especially as women, are taught to be like this and go, 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 do, 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 work, 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 be in like hyper masculine energy, hustle. And that's just like the culture that we're in, unfortunately. So with that understanding, we get to choose, okay, what do we desire to be living in? So you get to totally honor all the masculine parts of yourself that has likely been very successful because I'm a super high achiever and I tend to attract other super high achievers. <laughs> you get to feel into, okay, I can honor all the amazing parts that I have here. And how can I like step more into my feminine? How can I like let go of control? Can I surrender more? Where are the safe places for me to practice playing more? leaning back, trusting myself and my business more, like stepping into your divine feminine, having more pleasure in your day, more self-care, things that really fill up your cup. And I know for me, when I transitioned from the corporate world into um, being a full-time entrepreneur, I would just sleep for like nine to 10 hours a day. And that was just what my body needed to recover and my <laughs> adrenals needed. And I was like working with a naturopath to be like, okay, like let's, reverse some of the damage and like prevent other bad things from happening. So it's letting yourself rest and know that rest is just as valuable as you working and taking care of your health and your family is valuable and is a productive thing and is something that's growing your business and allowing yourself to take full weekends off without feeling bad about it. So do you want to know what it looks like and feels like through your higher power to have all this? that you're worthy and deserving of it, that it's time that you're safe, that you're able to, that you can clear release and let go of any and all harmful hustle culture and mass, like toxic masculinity pieces have hurt you in the past, that you can clear release and let go of any and all charge around that, of being like hyper-masculine or like hyper-vigilant, that we can clear release and let go of the charges around that too. And know what it looks like and feels like to step into your divine feminine and to then harmonize your divine feminine with your masculine so that they can work in flow and harmony and union for your highest and best good for your optimal health. And then what it looks like and feels like to really deepen into your standards and your boundaries that will support you at this new level of your growth and expansion. And if you would like all of that, you can say yes. And taking some deep breaths. Do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to trust your intuition, to move and flow and work in your divine inspired action steps, and that you can feel safe in these new ways of being, that you know how that looks like in your life and business, that it's time, that it's safe, that you're able to, what it looks like with your finances, with your loved ones, with your partner, in all areas of your life and that you're worthy and deserving 
of all of this, knowing that it won't hurt you and that it will benefit others for you to be the highest and fullest expression of yourself. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. And then earlier there was stuff about like launch trauma. So do you want to clear release and let go of any previous baggage and negative energy around things where you launched and it didn't quite have the outcome that your human ego mind desired that you can clear release and let go of the charge around that or any and all like negative self-sacrificing or harmful experiences that you had during experiences of putting yourself out there, being rejected or putting yourself out there, doing a ton of work and not really feeling like you got the reward for it. So you can release all of that through your higher power and fill you up with healing energy where those used to live. Hmm. Awesome, it's feeling better. So we can integrate all of these changes. I can offer you general healing for any and all other areas of your body, life, and business that are ready to be healed right now. And fill you up with your higher powers, unconditional love, compassion, peace, and prosperity. If you'd like that, you can say yes. <sighs> Taking some deep, deep, deep cleansing breaths. Hmm. I'd love to hear in the chat, how's your body feeling now? How are you doing? Hmm. And in the chat or on Facebook. And I definitely recommend drinking a lot of water. We've cleared out a ton of stuff. Water is so, so, so supportive. So drink a ton of water to keep yourself hydrated. Mm. So how's everyone doing? Feeling better, feeling lighter. Hmm. And if you're like, kind of like, lots of stuff happened, you can like literally choose to channel the energy down through your body, through your feet, ah, down into Mother Earth, if you need to like ground, I know that we cleared a ton of stuff. <laughs> Inspired, yay, I love that. Mm. So those of you who do feel called to going deeper into this, who want to know about some next steps, I'm going to pop in the chat an invitation for the next steps. And if you were like so good, if you're like, yeah, I'm complete, that feels like everything I need to get from Laura, then you can totally feel free to take care of yourself and enjoy the rest of your evening. But if you're like curious about what the next steps would look like, what they would feel like, then I'd love to introduce you to my Increase Your Impact and Income program. It is so fucking awesome. The first round that I did in it in 2020, literally everyone's intention for the six weeks happened within the six weeks. So people sold their first thousand dollar package, sold multiple thousand dollar packages for the first time, had their first three came up, sold their first thousand five hundred dollar package, sold their first like really big package that allowed them to have a 5k month. Um, what else happened? Someone just wanted to show up on social media more and they weren't just like showing up on social media more. They were like posting selfies. They were like, I'm ready to be visible. And then they were like out in the world at like local shops and they like got tagged in a local shops fucking post <laughs> and like hyped out. So like they were so visible and that was their goal for the six weeks. So this is such a powerful course and I love, love, love that it gets to expand coaches and healers into their next level for themselves and so that we can all be the change that the world totally fucking needs so fucking much right now. Need it in 2020. It totally needs it now <laughs> so much. So in this, we go deeper into these six gaps that we were flowing through tonight. So the unconscious limiting belief systems, visibility and throat chakra blocks, and I 
do focus on throat chakra because that tends to be the thing that happens the most for people. I feel like I'm on like level seven million and four on throat chakra blocks. I like do so much work on it. And like we did tonight where you got to tune into the block within yourself. It's also the other blocks within your body. So we go deeper into those pieces. We release the unhealthy money mindset and get you into a thriving, abundant money mindset. We go really deep in your divine masculine and your divine feminine and how they can be married and harmonized together. I went a little bit deeper into this section of it in the last week's masterclass as well. So if you're like, I totally want to like learn more about all this stuff, last week's masterclass was totally different. So I went deeper into the divine masculine and feminine being harmonized together for your optimal health and vitality. Um, we support you in having next level boundaries. If your boundaries are a little bit outdated or if you're just like, mm, I'm nervous to share them. Like I know that what's happening in my world isn't the best feeling thing, but I like don't know how to say it. I also share about the conscious things that you can do to have conversations with the humans in your world so that they understand and accept this as a boundary and they don't like fight with you on it. And then another gap is not doing the conscious duty work and inspired action. So we support you in doing it. And I also love the accountability of the group where you get to choose, okay, this is what I'm committed to for homework this week. And then I get to support you in the group. So I'm like already getting ahead of myself. I'm so excited. So we have a Facebook community where you can share like, this is what I said that I was going to do for homework, but I have a ton of resistance on it two days later after the call and I'm not doing the thing. You can let me know in the Facebook and I can give you some downloads. I can give you some new strategies. I can give you an exercise to do whatever is feeling like the most supportive. And sometimes I do like Facebook lives where I'm just like, oh, we're just going to do like a bunch of healing downloads on those. So you get support in this Facebook community in between our group calls to really build momentum. <laughs> the energy of this group is so like out of order. Like usually I'm like fairly good at like holding the structure. The energy of the group is like very much like flowy. Let's move this into this one. So it's a fun, different vibe. So Facebook community is also an incredible community for the like soul fam that's meant to be on your path. Now that I've been doing this full time for five years, I can really own the fact that I call in incredible souls who are soul family with each other that I like still see like years, sometimes like multiple years later, like they're like commenting on each other's stuff still. They're now each other's clients. They're partnering on projects. They're being interviewed on other people's shows. Like they have such amazing bonds. They're like seeing each other in person. Like <laughs> there's so many amazing things that have happened within the communities because I truly believe that we magnetize the people who are in the same frequency. So like attracts like, and we get super amazing humans that are just like new best friends essentially. And it's not like, oh, I don't want to like join this group because now I have to be best friends with everyone. It's not that energy. It's just like there's seeds that grow in this group that is super loving and friendly and encouraging that allows the space to like flourish budding friendships. Okay, so what you get in the program is access to the seven week increase your impact and income course that we did back in 2020 and some extra bonus modules as well because i love over giving to my clients and being like okay exactly what are your issues let's like clear them up let's solve them let's move you forward so there's also bonus videos um within all that as well so what we do in this live version is that you watch the first module and then you come to the call so that we can go even deeper into the layers which is super awesome and exciting and we have every week 90 minute group coaching and healing calls we also have a week for integration to support you and being like okay cool like i can catch up on anything um for homework and stuff like that so i'll scroll down to that piece as well and if you are like a really detail-oriented person and you want to know like what is happening in these different modules you can totally read that for anyone who's on facebook after the live ends here i'll be sure to pop the link to this in um the feed on facebook as well and also i'm like super promoting this on my personal page right now so you can also just like scroll to a post where i'm talking about the course and in the comment section you'll see the link to it if you're like a super keener and like i want to do the thing right now <laughs> So bonuses that are included in this is my manifesting one-on-one workshop. So the life vision statement, if you want like 
super clarity on how to do it, downloads that support you in doing it, that's included here. So it supports you in creating a super clear dream life list that will support you in being like, hey, universe, this is what I'm desiring. Bring it to me. And then also what I feel is going to be really supportive, especially for this group of humans live and listening on the replay is the Clearing Money Blocks Workshop. This literally channeled through in my first year, I was very against anything money related because I was like, no, I'm the happiness coach and healer. I'm not going to do anything money or accounting or like bookkeeping related. I'm like, fuck now, <laughs> that's the world I've left. But this kept coming through in so many, like 90% plus of my private sessions, money stuff was coming through. So I'm like, okay, obviously this is a thing that's meant to be worked on within like my superpowers. So I literally channeled this workshop. I was just like, creator, if you want this to be done into the world, show me how to do it. I made it super quick. It flowed super awesome. Literally, this would be like my workshop that in person would sell out all the time and people would just get like incredible testimonials from. So this helps you to clear out all the shit that you have around money, around debt, around your spending and saving habits, around your credit cards and loans, like literally the shit that people have around money, you like dig into it and then we clear it out. People have like phenomenal testimonials just on this. So I love including it just so we can like start with that cleared out. And I also have clients who go back to it over and over and over again, or like, oh shit, I have like debt again. Fuck. Okay. And then just go back to the debt section of the workshop. Like I can't say enough good things about this. <laughs> So the investment of this program where you get all the bonuses and all the things is regular 1,111, but during early bird, which we're in right now, it's only 997. So you can save $114. Now this early bird period is for the next two weeks. So it ends on Friday, June 17th. So when you get the course, you get that digital access to increase your impact and income and all the bonus content that's in there. You get access to the six live group coaching and healing calls that we're having together. The Facebook community that literally like people tell me over and over again, these connections, this energy, the support in between is priceless. Then you also get Clearing Money Blocks 101. And you also get the Manifesting 101 digital workshop too. So the total value of all the things is $2,369. But when you choose to be a hell yes and invest in yourself today, it's only $9.97. So there's a savings of $1,372. And if you're one of my alumni clients, you also save an additional 40%. So if you are someone who's in my world and you've like PM me before, you can totally PM me and just be like, hey, what's the discount code? Um, or you can also email hello at coachlormcfee.com, like literally copy and paste it and we'll get you the discount code for 40% off. So you get all the things, here are the two options for the pay in full. And there's also a three month payment plan. Learn more about me. And then here's the dates I was talking about. So you get instant access to the bonuses and the digital content. So you can start that now. So even though the group is going to officially open on Facebook on June 29th, you can start moving through this material now, which is so fun. So then our live calls are on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern for Pacific, which is eight Atlantic time. And we'll go for 90 minutes. And the dates for that is June 29th through July. We're gonna take an integration week. So July 27th is integration week. There's not a call that week. That'll like give you some space to catch up on homework, catch up on any modules. Sometimes people find like the speed is like a lot <laughs> to go through it. And you can literally do anything in six weeks, especially if whatever intention you have, if you have like an intention of a 3k month or a 5k month, six weeks will get you there. The people who showed up to the calls and did their homework all had their intentions done, which is just like so good. There were a couple people throughout the different rounds of this. And I've done several rounds of this thing that have intentions and then don't show up live. So I'm not able to like tune into like their energy. They're not able to be like, oh yeah, I still have some sticky parts about that. I am able to tune into their energy. So if you're like, oh, I'll miss a re like, I'll miss one or two of these classes, that's totally fine. The replays work. And you can totally let me know, which is the next piece here. I love that the energy of the group is like 
it's already bringing me to the next thing that's already there. <laughs> so if you do know, okay, I'm going to miss one or two of these calls, you can 100% let me know before the call starts and tag me in the Facebook group like, hey, this is my stuff coming up so that I am sure that I get to those pieces. And you can always ask me in the Facebook group what questions you have, the challenges that are happening, the limiting belief systems that your muscle testing are happening for you so we can keep clearing the thing. So for the like couple people who've joined this, um, who didn't get within the six weeks their intention done, they just ghosted. Like they were like, maybe this is a magic pill that if I buy it, it'll be good. Like they just didn't do the work. So it's not a magic pill. There's literally nothing. And unfortunately there are marketers who will be like, buy this thing and you'll just instantly be better. And it's like, that tends to be like snake oil salesmen who like aren't really in integrity and authentic or ethical. So this works if you show up to the calls, if you ask your questions, if you actually do your work and your inspired action steps is essentially the bottom line of this. So this course is 100% for someone who is ready to show up to the calls or watch the replays and come into the Facebook group when they have questions. You will get awesome success. And if you would like to hear some client success stories, we have all kinds in here. So Kelly shares, and Natalie, and then we have video case studies and video testimonials. So there's all kinds of awesome stuff in here, which you guys can totally do on your own time. So I'm going to stop the screen share. Ooh, and the other thing that I'm adding in for anyone who's already in and anyone who's joining tonight is a 30 minute private session with me. So if you're like, hell yes, and join tonight, you get to have a private session, which like literally I don't do anymore. <laughs> um, like if you want to have private sessions with me, I'm like, what's the lowest other thing? So in my last program, I did a VIP upgrade where they got three 30 minute sessions with me for 3,333. And then anyone else who's a private client of mine, it's a five figure investment or above. So it's like crazy that I was just like inspired before doing this. It's like, yeah, like spend more time with your people, like give them a 30 minute session during the six week program. So if you are a hell yes, you'll get a 30 minute one-on-one -on -one session with me, completely private to dive even deeper into the stuff that's holding you back, which I'm super excited to be offering. So I'm curious, does anyone have any questions about the course? Do you have any questions around what we talked about tonight? Or do you have any like lingering bits that you're like, oh, like, there's a sticky part or I'm like kind of having resistance to this. If you do, you can totally unmute yourself. You can also put it in the chat. I'll check Facebook too here in a minute. And I love that everyone stayed on to the end. Mm, beautiful faces. Okay, checking. So yeah, there's people who are live watching on Facebook too. So if you guys have any questions, you can definitely ask them. And I know sometimes there's like a little bit of a delay between my Zoom and Facebook. So I'll also stick around here for a little bit. And I'll pop the link in Facebook too, so you can see the course. And you can learn more about the course here. There. Hmm. Any questions? You are so welcome. It's my pleasure. And thank you guys all for joining this. Like my heart is so happy that such incredible coaches, healers, mentors, practitioners are called to doing this work. Like even if you only do my free stuff, like I am so excited for all the people who have been sending me messages and raising their hand and like doing the like master classes and like going back. I also have like a ton of content back from 2020. Um, 
that is increase your impact and income content. So if you want to like binge watch that, there's a ton of healing in there. Like I really deeply desire for us all to be in our divine inspired action steps in service of the world from our overflow, supporting other people and win, win, win experiences, allowing us all to rise together and be our fullest, healthiest, most vibrant self who are like abundant and financially free and have all of our heart's desires because our heart's desires are for us. Like when we incarnated here, our heart's desires were put in us as like our, our compass and the pathway was planted as well. So even though sometimes people are like, I don't know the how, as you move in inspired action, you'll be given the how. Just like driving on the highway with GPS, it would not be supportive for your human if you learned all the things right now. There are things that I am working with today and doing today that if five years ago, the universe was like, hey, this was going to be like part of your day-to-day -day life, or hey, these are some of the challenges you're going to be working through to learn these lessons, to get these skills, like have this, to embody it. There's a good chance that I'd be like even more terrified and paralyzed to like do this work. <laughs> and the other metaphor that I use a lot is if you were like, I just want to know how I'm going to get there. So the people who are watching are like East Coast people. So if you're on the East Coast and you're going to drive out to BC, to the other end of the continent, if you're going to drive to the West Coast. If someone was like, okay, cool. Yeah, I can tell you how to get there. And the universe just like for the next hour gave you detailed steps of how to get there. That would not be supportive for you. What's in fact supportive is as you get to a turn, like your GPS does, like in two kilometers, turn right. In 400 meters, turn left. That's supportive. So that's your divine inspired action steps. So I invite you to let go of the how, trust your intuition, trust your highest self, and keep moving in your inspired action steps. Mm, I love that. <laughs> the heart. Thank you. Okay. So if there's no questions, we can definitely close it here. Sending you guys all so, so, so much love and light and healing energy. And I'm more than thrilled to talk about this course in my PMs. If you guys have any questions after, or if you're watching the replay, you can hit reply to the email if you have questions, or you could um, just send me private messages because sometimes I like the voice notes too. So Sending everyone lots of love. If you join tonight, you get a 30 minute session with me. And I'm so excited for that, but I'm sending you so much love regardless of your choices as you move forward. And I will be doing more masterclasses. So you can also keep following me on Facebook. Mm. Sending everyone so much love. Mm. Okay, last one. Let go of the how and trust. Yes, great quote. I love being quoted. Thank you for quoting me. Okay, bye.